whole time. I have my mouthpiece here. I am way winded. That's why I must breathe really deep in through my nose. Let it out smoothly out through my mouth at least two to three times. After that, you must picture literally your heart pumping fast right now, right? You can feel it, right? So you picture it pumping. Then your mind, you want to try to slow it down. Relax your breathing. Relax your thoughts. Relax your body. That way you don't go into the next round all panicky and stuff. Your heart rate is lowered again. Remember, picture it. Picture it going down. You want to limit it to your creativity. You can picture the heartbeat, boom, 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 and then slowing down. A little more of a normal rate. All right, you can do that. Or you can picture your heart bright red. All right, that means it's in danger, meaning you know you're gassed out. And you, the more you think about it, the more you try to relax, the more you see that heart turning yellow and then green, meaning it's good to go. All right, so there's different methods you can use to try to regulate your heart rate down to normal. I mean, it's, it's not, it hasn't even been a full minute yet, and you see how much I was pumping, how much I moved, and I'm, my, breath is, my breathing is relaxed again. All right, it's not even a full minute yet, so I'm ready to go, ready for the next round. And that was pretty intense right there. Imagine if I paced myself a little more, man, you know, I'm going to tire my opponent out, and then at the end, unleash, when he least expect it, when he thinks that I'm tired as well, when he's tired. All right, so remember, like I said in the video, uh, when I'm talking, you, know, you gotta build that lactic acid. Build it up, build it up, build it up to where it freaking hurts, it burns so much. But then, that's when you go into the um, autopilot mode. Your body goes on autopilot, and you focus only on the breathing and bursting out. Remember, burst out through your stomach, not through your stomach, but through your, through your diaphragm on the most difficult phase of an exercise. For instance, when I was pushing, the weight, the most difficult is what? Against gravity. So that means up. That means I'm going to burst out. <sighs> Breathe in patiently on the way down. Control it against gravity. Don't go down quick with gravity. Go against gravity nice and smooth. And <sighs> Remember, if this is the motion right here, you're only bursting from right here to start to about here. That's it. The rest <sighs> is control. <sighs> Just like that. And breathe out deep. That way you're breathing exactly the same way you would in the natural match, and that way each freaking breath is a freaking contraction from your core. The circumference of your waist needs to contract inward in order to activate that diaphragm properly to breathe, burst out that breath of, breath of air. So that means what? Every single time you're breathing, like so, deep into your mouth, out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth, you're bursting out every single time, contracting your entire core, your entire circumference of your waist, every muscle. So that's what, at least a good 2,000 reps per session, per exercise, you know, anywhere from an hour to even an hour and a half, the longer you go, obviously the more contractions you make from that breathing. You know, no matter what you're doing, you're breathing, breathing, breathing. All right, so concentrate on that. Breathing is very, it's number one key, man. Breathing, breathing, breathing. That's why I say it's 90% mental, 10% physical. You're only limited to your creativity, all right? Pain is temporary, and pride is eternal. It lasts forever. So win some, don't lose any. Peace.